We are part of a social and economic museum here in Austria. I am part of it since there are several museums here. I am one of the greatest collectors around the world. Everything to do with coffee. Our curator of the coffee museum claimed that his coffee tastes significantly better with grander water. Coffee has around 1,300 ingredients and 800 aroma components. Where these 2% are secondary, but the most important are the 98% of the water being used. This means that you taste a coffee somewhere, then you go to another location, and you will already experience a different taste. And this is how I became familiar with Grander Water, through the coffee museum. I still go down from the third floor with my Grander Water jar and refill it with Grander Water. I then happened to start experimenting and did some taste tests. The water hardness in Vienna was about 8 to 9. So we made coffee on one side with a French press, and on the other side we took grander water, having the exact same temperature. And through the blind taste testing, it became clear. The coffee made with grander water was considerably stronger. The taste and the aroma were significantly stronger. In the end, we concluded that if you use the grander revitalization technology, you need fewer coffee grinds, which means you require less coffee. Someone could bring me the best coffee in the world, the most expensive coffee machine in the world. However, if the water isn't right, then nothing would make sense.